my dear friends, of instantaneous blue enlightenment and therapy. Oh, by Heros Pavlos, yeah. Let me make a short comment on this performance of mine. La, 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 la. This is a new level of my artistic expression. As you may already know, I use this vibration. La, 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 la. When I put a guitar on my head while lying on my back in my poetic bed uh, on a foggy October morning after I have been exercising vigorously yesterday all kinds of sports which you may see also on these pages because this is my style and my suggestion and advice is as especially suitable for similar archetypes that is a warrior athletic type of man who simply needs to run, jump and fight but also there is a poetic soul romance and chivalry secret wisdom knowledge la 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 laugh for beauty and hidden gardens how could it be otherwise whilst i have studied english poetry and was nurtured on the rock songs of such bands as yes genesis pink floyd Uriah Heep, Paulina, Deep Purple, and so on. In my young age, and on, okay, competition sport. So, but otherwise, all who deem this a reasonable and for above all, a pleasurable experience are invited to this self-therapy experiment. So, either just like that, because you want to try it, or after a rigorous adventure the day before, which really took me to the extremes, like yesterday, for example, I was I am not cheating. I played three hours on a stroke against a wall with two tennis rockets. So two tennis rockets. So that means it's a left hand a rocket, a right hand a rocket, logically. And I was playing like hell because this is what I can. Play with both hands. And then I got this crazy idea. I'm going to play volleys without a mistake and I must make at least a 50, a 50 of them. La, 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 la. So I did it. Oh, that was great. Yeah, it was great. Dee, 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 dee. It was artificial light. Dark all around me. Dee, dee, dee. And after that I didn't have enough so I went running, running on oh, an athletic stadium. Oh, la. And it was already 11 o'clock in night when I finished, so I washed myself with cold water on the toilet of the athletic stadium and 
put on dry clothes. And then I went to the university library. Oh, and I loaded up on YouTube my big film about Gamaron Qigong. The morphogenetic fields and the eros of nature and longevity. And also another video on fencing. And then I wrote an extremely poetic, long and unusual letter to Arabia of Greece. As Lawrence of Arabia, I applied for a job as a fencing teacher, fencing instructor in the Persian Gulf. Because I had this idea that they had this open school or whatever it is, Tamini Stables. Recreation area park where they teach traditional art of chivalry like falconry, power, crafts and arts, fencing, and horse riding. So I saw myself already as Lawrence of Arabia riding through the desert uh, with my uh, sable la, 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 and a falcon on my head or my hand on my, on my head on my hand uh. so nevertheless it was already three o'clock in the morning when I reached home I ate something and slept till the morning, which was foggy. Bala. I woke up at 10 and started to play these songs. Bala. So I include this as an information into my Longevity, Gamano Longevity program, which has, as you know, so far two big components. One is the arousal of energy through fitness exercise, running, workouts, whatever for a substantial period of time so that your heart rate races like hell up to your possible maximum which is, do not forget, you should consult a doctor if you are not sure you can make it it's 180 minus your age is the safe heart rate for everyone so if you are 40 and you want to start um, uh, doing real workouts and train hard, then you should not exceed 140 beats per minute, all and so on. So this is the first part: uh, raising your heartbeat to uh, the maximum or sub-maximum for some longer time, maybe an half an hour, maybe an hour, maybe two hours, depending again on your condition. You must feel that you are really boiling hot. And then you cool down. Again, various possibilities. Just undressing and standing in the cold wind, or washing with cold water, or taking a cold shower or jumping into an icy cold lake in the middle of winter depends on your condition and must always be prepared gradually through a period of many many years 
That is, if you want to jump into the cold lake immediately after you have been running for an hour, for example. So, this is it. First part, arousal of power, energy, cooling down. And then the aesthetic polishing part, Qigong. La, 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 la. Dionysus and Apollo. I explained this uh, on many, many, many pages here. This, in my way, in my opinion, is the way of a warrior if he wants to clean his body from all decadent cells and, above all, if he wants to give the aroused energy some gestalt, symmetry, harmony, and that is the best way to do it, in my opinion, is a kind of Qigong exercise, which later may come a, may become a spontaneous creation of your own. Doesn't have to be exactly some Qigong series, uh, but it has the principles of it. You know. So then you feel almost indestructible. And can work long time on some project. And with a thrill, you feel the thrill of energy. You're working on the highest possible level without any drugs, without caffeine, without nicotine, without any artificial drugs, you just run on adrenaline and endomorphin, dopamine and serotonin, your own neurotransmitters, hormones, so then you go to bed after a day like that, and in the morning, deeper part of yourself asks for nourishment it must be united all what you have felt the day before or what you have been thinking what you have seen, la 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 la, maybe during past months or, or even a longer period of time, simply the specific condition of your body arousal, energy circulating in your body, okay? You lie in the bed, you slept well, and then there is a morning very specific quality, the weather is specific, the location is specific, the time of the year, so now we have late October, the fogs have come to the Lake of Constance in southern Germany, I used to write poems about the fog in the 80s when I was studying Literature. Oh, la, la, la. There is a beautiful poem by T. S. Eliot about la, la, the fog in London. Oh, la, 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 la. It was crawling like a cat around the chimney. Oh, la, la. La, 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 everything was completely invisible and wet. La, 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 the poet was lying high above the city in his bed. La, 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 everything was foggy and wet. La, 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 la. But the poet had a very good night 
the hole la 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 time he wondrously slept and his soul some images saw from distant kingdoms has kept La 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 la, and as he woke up, la 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 He was looking for a rhyme and wanted to harmonize it. These images that you bring back from the land of the dreams and your real memories as they are somehow united in your body, in all the cells due to your workout and qigong the day before now ask for the highest level of integration that is poetic vision La, 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 la. Musical composition, oh, rhythmic initiation of all those so heroic archetypes of the distant past. Yeah. Morphogenetic fields come into question. Again, da, 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 maybe even hero and hero worship by Edmund Burke. Da, 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 da. Suddenly, all the tortured geniuses, Poe, Coldridge, Keats, Yeats. And Heidegger, of course, since I am lying close to his high school. Heidegger was going to a high school, which was a priest, a seminar here in Konstanz. La, 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 by the Jesuits, I guess, was it? La, 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 la. Or Premostatensus, I don't know. La, la, ba. Important idea that which into my mind now crept is the idea of archetypal memory, the so called Akasha in the Hindu mythology or the world picture. I have always admired, as a young boy, these rock bands. My favorite singer at that time was David Byron from Ura Heap, with whom I confused successfully for a long period of time with the poet Byron. Love the romantic period. Both ending typical fate of very sensitive visionary Englishman mine in the melancholy which forces them to pursue unusual adventures which finally bring about their untimely death. Bah. Nevertheless, I love those songs and also naturally Genesis and yes, you know, this, this enormous myths 
And um, as I was doing my competition sport, as a young boy in high school, la, 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 training vigorously to become an Olympic fencer, I used to listen to these songs la, la, either immediately parallel to the training la, 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 because it was the 70s no? the bands were in la, la, or after when I was relaxing because there were dynamic fast songs and slow meditative songs so, so I was listening to the slow meditative song and relaxing after several hours of really fight, you know, this was fighting, you know, we were fencing like hell. So this definitely was a romantic condition. Also the classic Greek condition. War and poetry. Bellum et otium. So this archetype must have somehow nested itself in the cells of my body uh -huh. and so now I do it again and again uh -huh. now on a musical quality of this kind as I lie in the bed Do -do 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 now it must be already three hours for three hours inventing or performing or improvising these melodies you know? and there come now comes the idea of Heidegger la, la, that there are somewhere and I would easily defend even scientifically or at least philosophically in a sound way the idea of Rupert Sheldrake that there are morphogenetic fields of some kind in which the qualia or the phenomenological content of our souls are yeah, somehow ontologically persisting. And maybe if you tune your soul through this vigorous exercise and Qigong, you achieve the maximum possible, so to say, harmonious arousal of your central nervous system that is circling, it's keeping the energy for itself and also absorbing it from uh, the natural elements la, la, la. then on a morning like this the weather has a special la, 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 quality your exploratory vessel to use a term of Terence McKenna who is powering his vessel with the mushrooms which we are not doing we are Greek heroes and romantic poets uh, la, 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 who fire the fires and push their vessels forward on adrenaline solely and endomorphin yeah? and dopamine serotonin yeah? la, 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 la. So then you can reach maybe through the circles of time to the past. Because the past has definitely happened. All that was felt and said, all the motion and the 
all the inner experience of all human beings definitely existed, was lived through and as so far no science has found these phenomena when they look closely to the material structure of the brain the question remains unsolved and the speculation is allowed by theory building so I build a theory that this qualia, this phenomenological qualities of experience are in a morphogenetic field that stretches endlessly to, 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 to the past. And on the basis of the so-called morphic resonance, that is similarity of form, and bodily condition and qigong exercise energy pattern and a melody on a guitar are definitely forms of some kind so they resonate to the past and they bring to my soul and they just pass la, 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 from the past no and this is the main idea I'm coming to you can hook to these fields of images and f memories and feelings and then you can uh -huh. express them in a poetic voice, you know, supported by the melody. Um, by the way, I wanted to unite it with my longevity program and say this would be, so to say, the ceiling. This would be the seal on that energy arousal and a physiological gestalt work which we have done in Qigong yesterday it is true that on days where I would do it on a stroke in one day in the summer when I would start with the sunrise I would finish after the Qigong with a meditation which would include uh, some affirmative visualization and sometimes I would uh, witness, as a passive witness, the appearance of some uh, well, archetypal god-like or warrior-like or a hero-like figure, a person appearing in front of me, which would, in an, an obtrusive way, suggest a kind of Union Mystica, a union of the space, of the Gestalt, of the form in which we meet each other. And visions, definitely, are to be found in the same morphogenetic field, on the same plane of existence as uh, our percept, as the qualia of our perceptions, I would say. So it is definitely not tabula rasa of John Locke. So, and this would be also a kind of final touch, final seal on this program of reprogramming myself, of remastering, of uploading a new version, an actual energetical best possible gestalt for my body and soul. La, 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 la. And so now, so I didn't do it yesterday, um, 
and after such great workouts, it happens on the other day. So this musical performance and the poetry united with it is a kind of uh, final polishing of that archetype into my soul this time. The opening, the door, is the soul. Today the opening, the door to perfection was the body. And body and soul are the same two sides of one coin, we would say. So there are two poles of life, endlessly fluctuating, dynamic balance. So sometimes the soul is more dominant, sometimes body is more dominant. But whatever happens in one has an immediate expression in the other. So now today the soul is the door through which the final polishing of my life, body and soul, is um, happening, is going through. And yet the original impulse of this long speech was to tell you that it's damn difficult if I really immerse down into those blue caves and try to bring you back a poetic vision. I depersonalize to some extent, I give up the control of the ego so that I can really see what is there. And ego would always block it. The ego wants to see something. The ego has a kind of premeditated image of what it should be like, what it wants to be like, and so it always will distort the unconscious image. Uh So I have to depersonalize, free from the ego, and then naturally what remains in the deepest layers is my mother tongue, as far as poetry or speaking and communication is concerned. And I permanently am being offered by the subconscious level of language rhymes in check to the last English uh, phrase. Words that resonate uh, rhythmically and in rhyme with the English last sentence appear in check and this is really difficult for me to overcome. That's why I confess that it does not have the quality of my written poetry in English because I can control it in the written poetry. But the music is there, the vision is there. So this would be, and today I tried to do it in a series of having one image, it was this blue cave in the depth of my soul. Wah, soft stones, vibrating melody, I can lie down, it's like a mother's womb, I can send the vibrations down somewhere to the time or to the past or to the depth of my soul. They will resonate through those labyrinths and caves and will bring back an image as an answer. This was the basic vision I had as I started to improvise on the guitar without any without any concepts, without language. Then usually after some time of improvising like that I just do the vocals, yeah? I just do the 
glossolalia art of singing la 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 and this slows down the flowing imagery and gives it a more exact pattern uh, so that I can somehow work on them, on those images, with those vowels. Uh -huh. And the emotions are free to flow to their extremest detail nuances which I really am sometimes surprised to witness because I don't know emotions of this fine tuning in my uh, waking life especially those heroic ones la 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 Okay, and then after some time is there is an overwhelming desire to communicate this so that I will not be alone the standing alone la 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 high above the ground close to the sky la 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 see Passing what will become and standing alone. I just simply want to say hello. La la la, would you walk with me? Would you stand with me? Would you dream with me? Would you die? I want to be with you. I want to see what you see. So there comes this very strong emotion of uh, a kind of prophetic uh, desire to communicate what I see. And then I pour it into words, which naturally is the mother tongue. Now, uh, check. No? But I live in Germany. Been living here for 30 years almost. And I studied English literature here. And I originally wanted to go to some English-speaking country. I left uh, the Czech Republic in 1980 because I was full of those rock songs from the 70s. But the fate somehow pushed me down here. La 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 almost killed me here la 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 But I managed to survive I've even laughed la 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 I'm alone I wrote poetry in German and great essay and studied for many decades, those deep philosophers, oh, 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 the German sentences, as long as a page in a book, ah, la, la, my lamp was shining, la, 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 long beyond midnight, so many years, because I felt oh, 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 some of those Deep thinkers from Laura Heidegger, Nietzsche, Klages, 
la 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 They were putting their sharp German intellect to it. Da, 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 da. And they have valves, they have delved deeply, 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 deeply. La 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 With their Indo-Germanic spirits da, 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 into the Vedanta as far as it was possible for a European. Na, 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 the phenomenology, phenomenology of the soul and body. And so I then put it into German and then I put it into English. It was the first trial. It is a really strange phenomenon. If you are bilingual or trilingual, You definitely feel that your personality is changing as it is, so to say, feeding on those archetypes of the specific language. I studied linguistics. Beware, beware. I have a final exam. And master in linguistics on the subject of perception, thinking, and language, where I argued for the strong wolf sapphire hypothesis that we are determined in our thinking by the grammar of our language, and maybe even uh, today I would say in our um, emotions, to a certain degree, are influenced by the mantras of the phonology. Each language is a series of repeating sounds. You don't have to weep as you see the last golden grate of the sand through your fingers. See that naturally is a variation on the poem of Edgar Allan Poe. But you have the touch for it. And then if I take the blue cave in check, Modra, Modra, Se Modra, Modra is blue, la 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 la, yes, King, la la, the cave, Modra, yes, King, la 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 la. To je tady na vině, že já nemůžu se stoupit po schodech do ty modrý svojí jeskyně. So immediately the rhymes, schemes awoke in the poetic mind and I had jeskyně, pán, the cave, la la la, rhymes, Suddenly, I don't know why this happens, it appears in the poet's mind. There is that certainly a vision, there is a vision that surrounds this all. I must have a look if this lecture, this is still being recorded. 
comes the linguistic lecture. Pa la 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 My body is full of energy. I want to direct this harmonious, already condensed energy which was kept in my body due to the Qigong yesterday. La la la. I want to direct it to what? Because living, just living, for a long time, which is the Longevity, after all, the longevity program is not enough. Living for just living. Sometimes it's okay if you are ill or weak or in danger. I mean, living just for living is a great thing. Wow! What could you ask for more? Just live, just a little peace of mind. Terence McKenna has very nicely said in one of his lectures, he said, Forget Shunyata, forget enlightenment. Yeah. All those big projects of the 70s and 80s, I remember, as I came here to the Western Europe from the socialist Czechoslovakia, where there was just, you know, sport and, you know, music. That was all. And Marxism, Leninism was out. But, you know, there were no other choice, Tala. So there were just these rock bands like, you know, Mura, He, Deep Purple, Black Sabbath, Genesis, and so on. But no records. We just were taping it from tape to tape. La 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 la. Mostly people didn't know what was in the songs because they didn't speak English. I learned English to know. Uh, one of my one of my motivations to learn English was to know the hell what is there in those church songs because for me they were like church songs. I, I went to the church always when I listened to these songs. They simply were the metaphysical pillars of my youth and nature, of course, and the beautiful girls. La, 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 and sport. La, 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 la. I come here and suddenly oh, oh, workshops everywhere, meditation, enlightenment, searching for the true self. and <sighs> So I, I, I just jumped into that and got completely crazy out of that. And then at the end, sometimes I felt really, really just a little old socialist peace of mind, just doing some sport and being in love and having a nice day in the mountains, la la la, that would be enough, enough here, la 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 la. So I was saved repeatedly by Zen, by destroying all those idealistic mental panoramas and by poetry and by sport and by music so from this digression back to the original idea what was it let us see if we can find it in the labyrinths of Anyhow, it's always the same. We can never get to the bottom of it. So it's the harmony. Harmony and standing on the last step before this um, initiation to that poetic archetype, la 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 la, la la 
level of some kind because now we are you know on a high level of living healthy full of inspiration full of energy we have time oh so we don't want just to live for living we want to have a goal a vision but not in so much in the theological sense that it will lead to something because then i would have to rise and start to work oh god and throw myself into some pragmatic action la, 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 which i can't do now la, 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 la. also knowing by ludwig klages i have found this terrible realization that just acting just for acting is a source of so much trouble la 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 if, if people would simply stay back and do some music and dreaming and trying to transform themselves immediately into a higher quality of you know experience perception sensitivity creation vision there would not be so much trouble in the world because uh, trouble arises when we pursue our goals in practical terms so la 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 our own family our own business our own sport our own uh, raw materials and that sport and whatever and other guys have similar goals and they have similar ways and these ways are crossing and this was a revelation by Klages when i found that the basic motivation of uh, pursuing some pragmatic goal is not um, achieving this goal but to destroy all obstacles this is this is more core this is more inherent to actionism to pragmatic action is the destruction and removal of all obstacles then the achievement of the goal itself and this is what causes the tremendous suffering because we simply knock our heads off at those juncture points so this is uh, not a theological motivation i experience here la la when i say i want to have something more than living la 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 that i have to have some the best word is transcendence i want to have higher quality living which is transcendence of the usual condition la la and that is poetry la la music vision la 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 la, la. as uh, Edgar Allan Poe says without music life would be terrible Nietzsche says the same thing ohne Musik wäre das Leben ein Irrtum without music life would be a mistake la 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 la, la. And also Edgar Allan Poe by Alan Parsons quoted the perception of sweet sound is our most indefinite perception so when music becomes combined with an idea poetry arises la la as the immediate transcendence la, la, la. 
And this definitely is not only peace of mind, because mind, this terrible English word which has caused so many confusion in the empiric world and the behaviorism and all that stuff, you know, because what is mind? Is it everything? You can use it for everything. You can use it for soul, you can use it for spirit, you can use it for intellectual capacity and analytical reason and whatever, uh, emotion. And this is a this is an unfortunate way of argumentation that was taken in English epistemology. Epistemology. We prefer the German division into Geist by Klages, analytical reason. Soul and body. La, 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 la. So, peace of mind, in my sense, in this way, would mean peace from the mind. The analytical reason is removed. La, 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 la. What remains is the perception of seed sound as our most indefinite perception and a poetic vision. La, la, la. La, 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 la. then luckily combine into a melodramatic expression. Or just remaining on the vocal level. And I have just two contributions to the theory of aesthetics that it builds in my system, it represents the final rounding it all up into one great ball, as T.S. Eliot would say, and making a kind of seal on this absorbed energy from the day before and giving it an archetypal touch of a poet a visionary, a seer, okay, la, 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 la. and then second addition to this new upload of aesthetics of poetry la, 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 is that it reaches back in time through morphogenetic fields while being carried on these wings of melody to speak with Heidegger to all those places of the Gedächtnis Heidegger uses the word the German word Gedächtnis memory la, 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 which definitely is a kind of pun on this platonic um, Nemocine or remembering, la 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 la, remembering of the ideas, la 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 Whereas in normal German grammar it is used with das Gedächtnis, die Gedächtnis, thereby, you know, giving it a special touch and the meaning of Akasha, actually, a kind of supra individual memory storage of the planet Gaia, which is again in harmony with the morphogenetic field theory of Sheldrake, la 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 and then the Gaia theory, la 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 There are two Sheldrakes, one who formulated the Gaia theory and the other one, Rupert, who is working with the morphogenetic fields, la la, and morphic resonance, la 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 So, Bearing this all in our bodies and souls, we see that we are reaching far to the past.
to all those poets, to all those individual experiences love, of poets, visionaries, seers. La 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 reaching into something which could never be expressed hundred percent. All those poems of Lord Byron, Keats, Shelley, Poe, Eliot, all those visions of great philosophers and uh, mystics uh, la, 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 are just a shade of what they really were experiencing, were living through. But this this qualia, this phenomenological, phenomenological qualia, quality of their experience has been stored in the super individual, individual memory, akasha or gedächtnis. So, uh, and now, through morphic resonance, you can reach to that, and so you can create again out of this pool. La la. You may have the thrill of being the other one for some time. You can never express it again, 100%, but you can have it, and that is enough. I have told you in the sea of emotion I'm flying high falling down in the sea of emotion I'm surprised that I feel what I have never felt before As I stand Amidst the roaring Upon the shore I feel And so on, you know. uh, the emotions are evidently of a new quality. And evidence, after all, is an undisputable proof of reality. Uh, So, from the original idea to defend myself by saying that my English rhymes are disturbed by the Czech rhymes, which give a completely different touch to the meaning of the, I mean, they distort the image into some other uh, Realm, like I told you, this uh, Yeskine, the cave, rhymes with um, the Czech word Vinye 
in a certain grammatical form, which means na vině, which means who is to blame. And out of a change of perspective arose in my vision as I was then descending down this cave and the voice was asking something like who is to blame that this all is forgotten or what no? la, la. so and this what I I suddenly had this double um, this double the branching of visions in uh, in the moment when I tried to keep to some English tradition of rhyming and the Czech rhyme jumps in and turns the vision into some other it's like cubistic poetry parallel universes or what split in parallel into two worlds would spin and intersect and even if it would become German, Czech, English kind of European blah blah mixture of vowels in the European la 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 impressionistic and expressionistic soup impressionistic would be because I am being impressed by poets from the past and I have to express this impression oh yeah 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 no wonder I run away to glossolalia Bali the purest form of expression of emotion la 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 So this is the end, my dear friend, the end, this is the end. But not in the way Jim Morrison saw it, because as I have told you, our drugs on which we fuel our mystical machine are purely indigenous, that is, fresh air, the tennis rocket, or oh, the athletic stadium, the rocks of the big mountains, the foamy sea, the hot blood running, jumping, Swimming, fighting, boiling blood, icy waters, la 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 Okay. So, this is not the end. This is the transcending bridgehead, the jumping board out of which we catapult ourselves and because we are not more pragmatic work alcoholics, we are being drawn sucked in by the magnetic force of the great mother Akasha Gedächtnis the chronicles of, you know, the best poems, uh, musical compositions, and as I have added to this, the kind of chronicle of the best dances, best tennis serves, best fencing attacks, and best Qigong 
movements and best skiing downhill powder races and best surfing and dragon flying or skating what you call it are the all best motions that there ever were and they are drawing us also so this is not the end but the one magical moment in an endless train of repeated ecstasy because the concept of time here is circular or spiral definitely not linear and each moment the so-called present is the head of a wave that is rushing forward foamy, beautiful, strong and carries in itself all the power of the past all the similar moments due to morphogenetic field resonance and the present moment are condensed all the similar moments of the past in the last kiss when it is being impressed upon the white loving brow of a fairy just freshly come from the woods kiss like that, all the kisses of the past of a similar quality are content, isn't it fantastic, and they power you, and all the serfs that everywhere serve with a kind of Breathing an awe of surprise how perfect this was uh, in all such serves is a quality that is immediately sucked in into your serve if it so happens that you, you know are almost hitting it right. And it applies for everything, for all motion for all music, for all imagery. What it needs, as you see illustrated quite well, in my performance here, in my expression, it's not a performance, it's an expression, is an endless amount of time Passive devotion to the wonders they are waiting for you somewhere, and in other times, vigilant and diligent exercise. La 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 la. And we are not talking about the money that has to be there also. Or the ability to survive difficult conditions. So, uh, so, secular concept of time, very important. Expounded by Klages in this 1500 pages blockbuster analytical mind as an enemy of the soul. Better to say analytical reason, pragmatic, theological counting and measuring faculty, faculty or reason as the enemy of the creative, passive, visual, emotional soul in man soul is passive 
impress, impressible. La, la, la. You fall in love. La, la, la. You fall also in creation. La, la. You fall into a spontaneous. Emotion, la, 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 la. you fall into a vision, la, 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 la. so as you are falling, something is waiting, waiting, la, 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 you land on soft feet of your soul. La 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 You will look through the magic hole La 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 From pole to pole La 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 And so and so on One pole is the soul, the other pole is the body dynamic ballet. I say goodbye and recommend to you lie down, descend the blue cave, put the guitar on your brow and chest. Wow, wow, wow. With the belly of the guitar on your head, and put some blankets below your elbow so that you don't have to hold your hands in the air, and then just hit the strings. Just one tone. And feel what it does as it creeps to the W, as it creeps to the D. Oh, maybe you will, you will weep as the blue tone creeps to the D. And add some ten years of practice. And. Look into the internet to Harris Pablos YouTube Gamaron Longevity uh, to find all the other ingredients of agonistic ecstasy in sport and Qigong and so on.